can't uh, swiftly uh, Anyway, me come here, they can't wait me One girl, you must see my time, must see one fifth day I'm here with O'Neill Thomas, aka Futa Hype And we're here with the Green Cups A Money Green <laughs> Not Libra, Green Money Green <laughs> You're right Anyway, I wanted to ask him a couple questions But first I would like him to tell me a little bit about himself well, um, for most people who know, I go by the name Futa Hype. I'm a selector slash MC slash DJ slash promoter slash A&R slash artist management slash entrepreneur. I have a t-shirt line, um, a cologne line now um, called Seductive Fragrances. I'm trying to like double into a lot of things so I can get I mean, so it's a lot of things. Okay, so he just listed out about 10 or 12 things, even though it was more like eight that he dabbles in. <laughs> as, as a matter of fact, I left out some of the things because I also do bookings for other artists. Like, if you want to get connected with an artist, you don't know how you don't have a connection. I'm the connection. Because if the artist, say, so like, you have an artist, so I'm going to talk to I'm good with the manager. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to talk to the artist to get the booking. I can speak to the manager directly. All right, so twelve. Okay. And I still have more to tell. <laughs> I'm chameleon when it comes to getting that break. Okay. So what I would like to go ahead and um, ask is, how did you get started in this business? I was born in this business. Um, a lot of people see it, like it. It's not the same thing for me, like, from the time I could remember, sound system was in my yard, you know, my father was a selector. Um, my mother, roast people, like, what them call it, roast now, like, carding, like, you know, get at you verbally. Mm -hmm. My mother was like that, and my dad was a sound man. Mm -hmm. So I was actually born into music. I, um, I actual sound system was in the yard when I was so. I didn't like get into it. I was born into it. Okay, that's interesting to, to know. I wanted to also ask you, who are your role models? Well, my major role model is God Almighty himself. Um, I had my a lot of great um, selectors before me, but my main influence was Tony Matara. Because he's the first one who went solo, mm -hmm. as a solo selector and started doing it on his own. Like most selectors had to be on a sound system mm -hmm. at all times. He was the only one who was brave enough to leave a sound system and then start his own thing. You know, and it worked. It worked in a major way and now we have a million of us. You know, so I have to say he was one of the main influences. Okay, and he, so he's one of the people. Maker. Yes, they one of the way paper for us, all of us. Okay. For a solo selector. Did you know that you would get this successful doing this? Um when I when I was evolving into this DJ thing, I wasn't thinking about being the biggest DJ or being the biggest MC. Mm -hmm. I just had a passion and I was moving towards that passion and out of that passion whatever came came even now i don't like there are channels that i could take that i could be way bigger and way more famous and way more spoken about but i don't choose that because i have morals and things that i believe in that i will not change and lines that i will not cross so i don't always think about okay i want to be the biggest dj because when you think that way you have to go through certain channels and i don't put a time span on when am I going to be the biggest DJ? I have to be the biggest DJ within the year, so I'm going to do everything it takes. No, God don't work like that. So I'm just a relaxed person who enjoy what I do. I love traveling. I love entertaining people. So I just do it from the heart. Do you give back to your community? When I can. I've given back so much in my community. Like I could stop now. <laughs> yeah, because. I contribute to the community in major ways. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a very giving person. I'm always giving. I'm always trying to help new talent and 
you know I can't go into it how many artists I bring to the forefront or I give a spotlight or I bust a tune for them or, and then I give away monetary support I give a lot of people money um, I'm one who believes in um, what you call it, patriotism Can I get some money? In due time So <laughs> <laughs> in due time you get some money so I, I, I help who I can Catch help. And, you know, sometimes you help people and them still turn against you. So, All right, I'm gonna follow my heart. I'm not gonna just get up and help somebody because all oh, people, like I say, you do good, you help them. No. I'm being past a stage where you try to make everybody feel good, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they hurt you. So, right now, I'm gonna follow my heart. When I follow my heart now, you know, say I got direct for that. So, if I not get nothing in return, I'm cool. Because I'm follow my passion, my heart, and I got control that. So. Leave it be. Always, we always give back. Okay, that's interesting to know how you give back, but good nevertheless. Um, Green cup. <laughs> who don't you like at this time? I like everybody. Okay, so we have, have no ways. No men are like, like everybody a human being, but your action determine if me and you get up on the same page or not. So, who do you not agree with at this time? What do you mean? What do you, uh, you mean? In entertainment or outside entertainment? In, in, in entertainment. A lot of people, me and them, are good within entertainment because I'm verbal and I'm vocal and I'm outspoken. A lot of people will have something to say about the other artists where they know the other artist did something wrong and they're afraid to address it because they're scared. And they think the artist and them entourage might beat them up or you know, I don't feel like the artist here. Yeah. I'm not going to gain a song. I'm not going to gain a dub creator. I don't give a fuck. Can I say that? Really not <laughs> trying to endorse the curse word. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. Like, the truth set me free. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, if you can't accept the truth from me, then really and truly, we can't be friends. Because mm -hmm. there's no point when I'm not going to tell you the truth. Cause that's how we're gonna be become family. How is your truth the only truth though? Or no. You... Okay. I have been wrong many times, and I've been right billions of times. I've been right more than how I've been wrong. How do you um? How do you address when you are wrong? Oh, I accept correction when I move on. You're not gonna tell me that I'm wrong without proof though. So, it, say I say like, the laptop is grey, and you say no, the laptop is black and grey. You're gonna have to go and get that laptop, and show me that it's black and grey, and prove me wrong. Then I'll accept wrong, and move on, and my, my vocalness and my verbalness from their foot will be the laptop is black and grey. Okay, so you would address it um, whenever you you speak again yes okay. yes i accept when i move on okay that's how that's how we do that's how being a true person is because you are never always right mm -hmm. and sometimes you are wrong and that's how people learn it's when you dialogue because if you think that footer hype is this big superstar and you're going to interview me and you think that everything that i say is so and that's how it should be nobody interview me eh? just leave me be because everything i'm say right where you're going to interview me but you have your own belief, you have your own prayer, you have your own say. That's why you question me, answer, dialogue, we talk. That's all we got. Okay. Um, so I have one question that a couple of the females wanted to know. Ladies always want to know something about it. <laughs> Who are you dating at this time? Music. <laughs> always in a relationship with music. Is that the only person that you're dating? It's or? my person, it's my life. Is that I'm married to music. Okay, so you're married to music. Yes. And that's what you're gonna stick with. A hundred percent married. <laughs> Everything in my life is music. Like even the side money that I make is from music. <laughs> if somebody wanted me to link somebody, I said, listen, if I'm gonna do that, I want that percentage I want. I'm not giving my connects for free. I used to do that. I used to like People want to talk to me about some people want to get connected to this superstar. That's because I just get up and I'm like, oh, I'm at the link here. Yo, dog. Then all of a sudden, when the money start coming in, nobody remembers that I was the one who created the bridge. The artist made the money, and the person who's paying the artist 
pays the money, gets his prayer, and I'm there sitting down like this. And my lights turned off and I have no water. And I, I'm not doing that way. again. Like I tell you, life is an experience and it teaches a lot. So if you want my kind of kick, you gotta pay me. Okay. How do you feel when people stereotype you? It comes with the job. Sometimes it's painful. Sometimes it's very heart-wrenching when people tend to act like they know you or they know your situation. When deep down inside you know they don't have a clue. And see on the outside look at it, because I could look at you and say, oh, she said a pretty girl. And then you could be the worst demented person who lights the house, burn the car. I don't know. But I might just see and say, oh, she's a princess. So we st the windows yeah. at your car. <laughs> so we stereotype you as a princess when you're not. Mm -hmm. It's like me. Everybody stereotype me as this vicious woman beater where you just snap and just beat woman and I'm abusive and I'm a hooligan and I'm so evil and because even my views on religion are, are crazy. Mm -hmm. Even my views on life itself are crazy. Like some people can't believe me say the things that women say sometimes. But it's not like I'm saying it because I want to say it. I'm saying it because it's reality. Like I was doing a live a couple of days ago and I was speaking about the way in which females deal with males mm -hmm. that cost them to assault females. People are acting like... Wait, explain that? Yeah. A lot of females act in a certain manner mm -hmm. and a certain way of disrespect that the male person can't even hold it because it's happening in public it's happening around people it's disrespectful Capleton said something years ago and I always use this 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 quote he said embarrassment as small as a mustard seed will let you kill him people tend to not understand the, the, the depth of that statement people will say no matter what a female does do not hit her. That can be the case. Because females are humans. Females stop people. Females throw at water. Females will kill you. There have been a lot of cases where females kill males. You understand? So I think the same thing applies to females, applies to males. You understand? A woman mustn't provoke a man to rat. You understand? I've been provoked million times. So people only look on it and say, oh, Futa is a woman beater. I'm not a woman beater. I defend myself. Certain disrespect I will not take. Like for instance, let me give an example. I'm out in public, we all having fun. Say I do something that is not appropriate to my girl. Like I might see a girl with a fat ass walk past. I'm a steer. It's natural. Your eyes innocent and your ears innocent. Mm -hmm. So she upset. But you're not gonna take up your drinks and chew it on my face. I'm not gonna have that. Is it a, wait, let me ask, is it a continuous thing that you do where you continuously stare <coughs> well, in it, public or it, is it, it doesn't, it or does, is this, I'm not saying, it's, it doesn't it, matter though. No, I'm, I, all right, I honestly agree with you. It doesn't that, matter. You know, there's never, you know. It's like the basketball player. But I player. still want to know. Not the basketball player, the NFL player. Now they were telling me about when I did the live. They said his name. I don't Just remember. This. Let's stick with this for a no, second. No, I'm just gonna fix this. We're not gonna stay long. He was in an elevator. His girlfriend spit in his face. The one him, where he knocked he, out unconscious. He, yeah, like that spit. Like I don't know about other cultures, like American or European. In Jamaica, that's a no, no. That's disrespectful. He lost it. And he lost his contract, he lost his job, he's banned from playing ball, but he lost it. They should have never banned him. She should have never spit on him. Then they're gonna say, oh, he's a woman beater. He's not. He was provoked to anger. You understand what I'm saying? So, All right, let's get back to I get stereotyped as that. When you were, like, if you're staring at some butt, like, you know, yeah. the, mm -hmm. the butt, and it's something that you do continuously and your female tell you about it. Still does not give her the right I'm not saying it does to spill her drink in my face. 
it doesn't but is it but is that something that you continuously do because that means you're disrespecting her a lot of times as well but it's not a physical disrespect so So we could argue about it of Of course we could argue about it don't get me wrong we could argue about it you could take it up with me when we get in the car or when we get to the house but in this public forum you're not going to throw your liquor in my face that will not happen I have that respect that I'm a king, you're a queen. Don't do that to me. Okay, so we're gonna move on. Yes. How do you feel about Donald Trump? Grapes! <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump. Um, I have mixed views about Donald Trump. Some things that Donald Trump do, I agree with it. Mm-hmm. And some things that Donald Trump do, I give him five stars, I commend him. So it's a mixed vibe. Mixed vibe in terms of Donald Trump make, um, what do you call it? Because they're not laws. Proposal. He makes proposals that are against my kind, that are against immigrants, because I'm also an immigrant. I was not born in America. Right. I'm here, just like everybody else. And he makes proposals that make, make me scared. I'm not illegal, I'm not doing any crime, but it just it's just nerve-wracking as a Caribbean person. When you hear certain things, you just get jiggy, because you know them still. And we just see one day and say, who oh, him, come. Immigration, check him out. And him say, oh, you're 20 years too long, go on. You understand what I'm saying? So, him do something that scare me, but as a person of God, as a person of, Will, I wouldn't say religion, no, because I don't have a religion. I, I, as a person, as God believes, there are certain things that he put forward that I have to agree with him. Like he he, he was against the bathroom for transvestites and stuff like that. I have to agree with him. That don't make no sense. He's saying, okay, no drag queens in the army. I have to agree with him. I, I have to love him for that. He believes that there should not be abortions. I have to agree. I would never give a woman money to abort a child. I don't believe in it. Because when a female gets pregnant, God approves it. It's an act of God. You you transcend from being a regular person, in my views, because people don't have to believe me. You transcend from being a regular human being to becoming a God whenever you make a child because people like to say oh i will give me life for them my god is your mother your father give your life as a female yeah. i i have to like i understand where you're, where you're coming from mm-hmm. but um certain stuff yeah i can see where you can be comfort- controversial um mm-hmm. but again what are your views on donald trump no, we're, we're, not going, <laughs> we're not going there. <laughs> Green cup. Um, you're scared where you are. <laughs> because you're a footer, you talk your business. <laughs> okay, okay, Mr. Trump, we cool, we cool, we cool. <laughs> Me one girl, you must see my damn must see 150. <laughs> me say me nah make the girl trip me. Oh God, when you say she yeah, you sweetheart. Mount a man out the road, a mind man.